Blue Nile South, the restaurant that specializes in seafood dishes. 25 Meeting House Lane, Peckham SE15 2UN. Open Monday to Sunday, 10 a.m. till 11 p.m. for takeaway and delivery. And now available on Deliveroo. Serving breakfast to start your day. Or choose from the daily menu, including yellowtail snapper, butterfish, parrotfish, boneless sea bass, salmon, and many other seafood delights, plus soups, side dishes, desserts, fresh punches, juices, and much more. Blue Nile South. Now available on Deliveroo. Or for takeaway, delivery, and table inquiries, call 0203 859 0346. That's 0203 859 0346. Blue Nile South, the specialist seafood restaurant, delivering to your door. Find us on Instagram at Blue Nile South 25. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome to another Rose Podcast. And today we're going to talk about dance art. So the place opening opening up back soon. So everybody on Alica Vibes get rearing to go, you know. Just can't wait. People stop wearing their masks, but almost still masks up. <laughs> right? <laughs> see? So I see a lot of flyers out and, and everything. So we just want to get into it and and see who prepared and what you're looking forward to, if it's gonna be business as usual, or we're gonna have a new format going through. So guys, welcome to Rose Podcast again, and I'm gonna start by you introducing yourself. Some of, some of you have been on this platform before, and some of you new to this platform, but we've been going on a while, and it's a community-based platform. It's like we're trying to build back our community, and so we need support. We need promotion, we need help, we need money. Okay? So which one of them want to get and do? <laughs> Choose one. Alright, I'm gonna ask you you like to introduce yourself, tell me what you do for a living, or in other way your qualification. Okay, so we start with Um me and Briggs AQ Mr. Madam and in the industry. I do Madam Friday and other promotion so forth with people and by myself. Okay. So I'm Angel Delight, as they know me, or Angel SOS. But in the dancing scene, I'm known as Angel. I'm a social worker by qualification, but I just love dancehall. Okay. Yeah, Epic Jones, DJ, producer. Um, just an industry person that loves music, especially dancehall music. Um, qualification based, you know, somebody up, up to master's level. And um, yes, there's somebody that somebody can always approach regarding any form of consultancy within the music business. Welcome to the club. Yeah, Welcome man. to the Masters yeah. Club. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Donna. Um, I'm in the school community and also um, in the music community as well. I'm a promoter and my street name is Don Don. Okay, welcome again. Uh, so, all right, we're on the topic of dancehall, and we all miss dancehall. Um, some of us make a living out of dancehall, and some of us just are just promoted to dancehall, some of us is just our culture, and some of us is our, is our adapted culture, right? So, I'm gonna start with you, Mr. Magnum Friday. Okay, you, you've been, how long have you been doing promotion? Um, in general. In general. Well, 14 years. 14 years? I mean, you're a seasoned promoter. Okay, I see that, yes. Okay, so, all right. In, in, in the previous, we used to do, you get a lot of downfall. All right. So, what are you looking forward to, to seeing that the place is going to be open up back on the 21st of June, if all being well? So, what are you looking forward to? Well, as keeping the event. Keeping the event. Um, well, we work at the club, forget the headphone then. Everybody's going to party and that, but going forward as well, we need to adapt the COVID rules that we didn't give in our event, so we don't get them in trouble, if that makes sense. So is there, is there a COVID rule come out for the clubs then yet? No, not yet, because they're still doing the levels where next month will be like the, the you can go inside for mm -hmm. restaurants and all those stuff, and then June and go again the next out mm -hmm. Okay, Jones, as a, as a DJ that playing majority of the dance, and, and, and also as a, as a producer, what most you miss about dancehall? Well, um, a big element of dancehall, I would always say, is the crowd interaction, 
not just with the DJ, but you know, it, the, the, the vice versa as well. So the element of us losing people in terms of seeing faces, it's not the same on the live. So the element that is missing is that live sound. Part of our dancehall culture is the sound system. And you're not getting a sound system virtually. You understand? You're not getting that, 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 the, the effect of the music, the full effect. And it's a question I recently asked on social media, my personal platform, and asked what people really miss. And most of the feedback was that type of interaction between the DJ and the crowd. So that is something I'm looking forward to when, that, when, when the place reopen, in terms of how the interactions will be and what, what will improve in terms of the pe consumers of the dance or music getting value. Okay. All right, Dana, am I right to say that you're fairly new to the promotion game? Not fairly new, but new. How long have because you been? I've How been, long? I've been in. This year would be my fifth year out on the street, but I've been doing like parties, backyard parties for over okay. for over fifteen so years. So I'm not new. I've, I've, but take it out further in the streets okay. is my fifth year, but I've been in it for a very long time, and I've, I've, I was one of them that. I've always been at the back, looking in, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So I know, so I know, I know, practically everyone out there in the dance hall. I know everything that goes on, even though I keep, I'm, I'm a silent, I'm an observer more, okay. to say, yeah. Okay, all right. We're gonna start with support for support. Um, a period of time. <coughs> Uh, pe and a period of time, it was people was like, if you don't support me, I don't support you. Do you think support for support work? And I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna come to Angel. Do you think support for support work? As a as a supporter, you're a supporter and a dancer because you've been on the circuit a very long time. Mm. Do you think support for support work? It doesn't work. And why? And the reason why it doesn't work is that there are too many things at once. Too many people can't be in the same place at once. So whoever it was that maybe would have supported you, perhaps your location for whatever you're having is not um, going to work for everybody that is in the area where there is something going on. So I tend to understand with people when it comes to functions and being supported back, I kind of take a little bit of an easy stand back when I see that that set of people couldn't make it to this dance or that dance and i find that people will only support you if you provide something for them it's always about them so for example you're having a function in luton and everybody's from south london they want you to help them with the transportation because majority of people don't drive so they're thinking do you have a coach is it coming to brixton you know it's support seems to come with that little stigma of what are you going to do for me? Will you let 10 of my people free and then we'll buy the drinks? If not, then we ain't coming. <laughs> it's like just the little door fees, the issue. Okay. So there's always different little issues that make groups of people not support you. Okay, all right, Dana, do you but think it works? It, it works sometimes, but then in, in any business, you still have to give something in return, if, it, if it's going to be advertisement or whatever you're going to give into your business, you have to put something in to get something out. Mm -hmm. and, and at the end of the day, is a thing where the support works sometimes. Okay. It works sometimes, not all the time. Because okay. you're some, like right now in, this, in the industry, there are so many people putting on so many events mm -hmm. at one point. Mm -hmm. Now, I would like to come to your event one weekend ropes, but then Leon of our next of, of his event as well. He, both of you support me. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna be maybe come into yours earlier than going to his one. But then on the other point, there's a next one over there that. So you have five parties. I cannot be at five parties in the same time. But I think I think we need to look into that. Yeah. So then so then all support for support work then. Well, is is basically. On my point of view, I'm like, if I didn't get to come to your party and I see you one away, I'm going to say, I'm going to give you a drink, you know, because I'm sorry that I didn't turn up. And I think that would be fair, even if it's to say, okay, the headphones, they're doing headphones now. The headphones was 20 pounds. Here's my headphone money. The price of the, of the headphones. All right. You understand? 
So, but, all right, Jones, do you think it's fair? Because, say for instance, just like how Dada just said, okay, I'm a videographer. Yes. Right? And I plan an event. I want to buy a next camera, right? My target is 10 grand, okay? And I come and I keep a party. And you all come out and support me to keep that party, right? You're looking back for the same support from me. But I need to buy a camera so I can keep the industry going. I can keep recording the industry. But you don't see it like that. You, you come to my party, you spend 500 pounds. You expect me to come back and spend the same 500 pounds at your party. And if you don't see me come to your party, you're going to be upset. You're going to call me every name under the sun. Just because I want to make the money to buy a camera. But you would never see that. So you don't see that, that I come to your, your dance and I make and I spend 500 pounds and you don't come back to my party. But you don't even know that maybe I've gone somewhere else or I'm doing something else. So how does support for support work? Well, I think the, the best way support for support can be working right now. I think during this whole pandemic um, climate, it has improved in the sense of, I know Leon will agree, you've seen a lot of artists put on their own live showcases and the amount of artists that you'll see working on these shows, promoting these shows, sharing their lives, is not something that was evident prior. And yes. then I look Wait, on things and second, the, yeah. One second, it will work now because nobody has have nothing else to do. So we are talking. We are talking when the place opens up back. Do you think that that level of support will be still there? Um, no. Well, th this is the thing. I can only be optimistic in the sense that they start doing it now, and they're seeing some form of success in terms of everybody is getting decent numbers in that sense. So I would hope that you see a formula working. You continue doing it. Then I look on things like um, DJs putting things together, and I think it can go into promotion. When they're doing things like um, on Twitch, they call it a raid. So a DJ has his set show and somebody works around those, those time slots that they work and have continued entertainment moving from one time slot to another show to another show. And I think events can move the same. Yes. If Rob's have an event and Rob's event is at their time, Leon can do an event same time, but it's the event to go to after. You understand? That's what normally work in other cities. I mean, so I, I'm hoping with some of the things I've seen in lockdown, that them can take them same elements and just move it into when the place open back because it's being done in the virtual world now. Yeah. Make, let's apply it to the real so world. So the virtual world is like a child then. Yes. Okay, Leon. Uh, the, the <coughs> Magnum, Mr. Magnum, great. Um, okay, wait, wait. Let me let me put the question to you. As a as a as a, a promoter, how does support for support work for you? Because if somebody come to your party and shell your bar, for instance, is open for you to do but the same thing to it. Is it is it how does it work for you? No, alright, so the support for support is not necessarily financial <clears throat> for the person to you because let's suppose you don't drink. But you can make thirty people buy a ticket and reach and buy a drink. So support is most like yeah, oh yeah at my business. You're not for far than chill but that's not an issue. Cause that as shouldn't a, be an issue. As a promoter, yeah, you need to have your own crowd anyway. Because the people we look for come support is, is we, the industry. Mm -hmm. Say there's a solid 100 promoters there. As they say, every week you keep an event. They're not for turn up your event to support them. can say, yo, you know, two person are forward, say two ticket size, and them something. Mm -hmm. We all have to for read. Because if you can spend 100 pounds, as they say, and me spend it back, what's the point of turn up? Mm -hmm. I just give money and then they give it back. Mm -hmm. It's even out that not really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah. one month, as they say, if you can money, you need the money. Next month, we need it from a rent or if you have car insurance or something. Enough time to drop us it. We reach home from work and literally say, I'm going to wake up for that money. When we can't, I don't mind. Yeah, but stop there. But if you don't come to, to, to my party, and I'm going to start to carry feelings for you. That's I'm gonna Because that, we see that happen in the old dance hall. I hope we don't come back in the new All dance hall. Right. All right. See, sometimes I need more money. Some man are to this. As I said before, I want to even um, something nice before a podcast. It's not really the money. Some promoter just wants some promoter in party. And them things they call it in the party, when the day is done and put your video come out, they say, ropes the day I'm a dance, F the day I'm a dance, down the day I'm a dance. All right, let me stop you. I don't think it's about you coming to the dance and make up the number. You understand? Because if you look, 
at certain people's dance. Yeah. When they come to certain people dance, they will buy X amount to drink. Mm -hmm. And when they come to somebody else dance, they, just buy they a jam a bottle of rum. Can't tell me that, but me not. No, 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 tell me no, because this no. is a podcast. Me yeah. actually not a LJ fan. No, 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 no the more people are see it and the ones them forward, mm. me happy with that. If you're not forward, you don't feel it. I know that works so I don't mind. If you're forward, it's a bonus to me. All right, but well, me. you may be speaking from, because most of your events, or some of your events, you're not dealing with alcohol, you're not dealing with the bar, you're just the door. So more people come through no. the door. Mm -hmm. Most of them, all right. The week of Friday, at the door. Anything we do, other than that, at the full event. Okay. But, I still not look at like that. Do or are fully then. Okay, hold well, on. Uh, let's bring in Donna on this one. There's people who, you will go to somebody's dance, the promoter's dance, and as a woman promoter, because we know women promoter get the artist, the artist deal. Mm -hmm. Alright, as a woman promoter, you will go to the dance and um you you, you, you maybe buy a buckle or two buckle and wet up the person, depends on the person. Right? And then when that person comes back to your party and they they supposed to be known as the top sheller then. Yeah. And they will gang up with the rest of people and buy a case and sell up over the case of drink. Yes. But they would never throw one over your head. Some of them depend. No, no, I'm not. I'm just generally because yeah. I'm not really pinpointing. No I know one. what you're saying. I'm saying some are of you them. Never, are you ever been in that situation where you're looking for a, a strong support from them because you know that you support them and you know that they're in the industry and they're, they're the column in the industry, but it doesn't come back and give you that strength. Yeah, I've I've feel the hands of some of them ropes, but I still don't let them disappoint me because at the end of the day. I, I love the reason why people go to dance, dance hard to dance hard for different reasons. And I love the reason why I'm in there. I love it, ropes. I love it. But at the same time, I'm, I'm doing my event to say, just like everybody is to make some profit from what you put in. If you put in 10 pounds, you expect to get 15 pounds. But sometimes you don't, but you still, you still do it the other time and people might say, why are you doing it again? It's because your love is 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 your love for dancehall robes. It's not because so one day somebody will will understand that yes, Dan is always supporting because I'm a good. I, I know that I support people. If you tell me that you're keeping something in Manchester, I will be in Manchester. That's me. As long as I'm not busy. Sometimes I don't turn up because there are, there are other things that that might affect that time or I might come late because I have children as well and you have to understand that as a mom I'm not gonna run away and leave my child if my child is not well and come out to the party straight All right. Angel dance I'll say dance has been, been our culture for uh, this is uh, this I think dance hall is the only thing that really keep us together mm -hmm. we look forward to it we look for it it's, it's, it's some, for some people it's to let your year down mm -hmm. and for for, for, for Jones is a business. He's a, he, mm -hmm. he, he, he provide music. He, he he has some of the some of the biggest hits. What people don't maybe don't even realize that Jones produce something like it, like those hits, just the name that one, mm -hmm. and everything. And he he's a D, he's also a DJ. Be up and down Jamaica, Canada, America. Mm -hmm. He's all over the place. He's an international DJ, yeah. right? Angel. I was speaking with um, with an artist this morning. And the artist said to me that most of the problem in dance caused by his own friend or your friend or my friend. Because he's your friend, he's the first one gonna mash up your dance. He's the first one gonna come to the gate and disrespect the security. Mm -hmm. Because you know him and then he knows you and he maybe see you as oh you're not a bad man or you're not this or you're not that. So we can be with him and do that. Have you ever seen that as a supporter? As a supporter, I see it all the time. Um, if I can elaborate yes. on, on the other point as well. I've supported um, promoters for over 26 years. Over 26 years being in almost every dance, all over England, Leicester, everywhere. If Killer Phil is having something, my car reaches. And it's like, I've had to be in situations where I don't have to convince whoever I'm with at home that this is where I'm going. That's my drink and smoke because I don't drink and smoke. 
get, get in there, there and, and then, then you see, see the same, same situation play out like what you're saying where the friends are at the door and they create the havoc at the door and you know this is all you've got to make you feel good because you've had a long week had a hard time been excited waiting for this dance it's never been a stranger but I think what happens is between friendships, there's no discipline. I've got certain friends I can't put together in my house if I'm having a birthday party, they will clash. But I make them know the respect point is me. You're not gonna fight in my house or even outside my house, because I'm militant. Like once I see you bring your attitude and your um, aggression, there's no friendship. You have to go. And I, I'm not even going to wait for security. I'm going to make you know that you have to go. So a lot of promoters, they don't look at the type of people they put together in a dance. So my friend from here, like you said, is the sheller. My friend from there is the sheller. Sometimes you have to compromise. Which one makes more sense? Which one is a hothead? Which one is likely to bring a gun to the event? You have to speak to your people. You need to stop trying to kiss people's behind just to have the crowd. That's the problem. I, I went somewhere not long ago and I saw a man tuck his piece and the security was like, put this thing over there and then the, still you are negotiating with somebody who you knew was gonna come with that. They know. So that's the problem with dancehall. People are not realistic with their people. You have to be realistic with your people. I'm straightforward. Like, you just can't bring that energy to the party. Okay. Friend or no friend. Okay, Jones. Um, from playing in, in, in parties, um, the gate always be a problem. Either yep. I get kicked down, mm -hmm. or the promoter is struggling to pay his bill because everyone want to come in free. Mm -hmm. And why do promoter have to give 90% of the dance are ticket to come inside of the event. That's a, that's a very, that's a very, 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 no, 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 I had to, I had to, it's, 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 it's a very good question in the sense that I don't know why they have to continue to do it, but a, a lot must come down to you, you break people bad in certain ways in the sense that if I know I can get something to free, and this is something that goes across the board for all human beings, mm -hmm. if there's something that I probably can negotiate for free, I'm going to try to negotiate to get it for free. If it's something that I know is a non-negotiable and I have to pay for it, I will pay for it. Second, let me ask you this. Um, don't you have a conscience to know that, okay, you're, you, you could, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm talking yeah. as a, as a, as a, as a as a supporter now. Yeah. Don't you have a conscience when you walk, you, you go to the gate and you see everybody trying to get into the party, and even though you're the promoter's friend. Mm -hmm. And and because the channel I see right now, the people who used to pay, they wait back until the crowd come. Because they know the gate, they know once they see certain people, the gate gonna be rushed. Mm -hmm. So they don't say, okay, me and the promoter are friend. Let me buy my ticket in advance and let me pay to go in. You wait until you see that crowd coming and you come in for free and then you go and look for the promoter and say, Star, SP, a push dog, go out of that word now. And the, the next big problem too, as, as you mentioned, is security a lot of the time as well. And I always say this about promotions and Brits who know it too, is, is the part of your event that it's not going to bring you more profit if you spend more money there, but it's going to save your money. Not just on the night, but in future, in terms, if you're building a brand, or if you're looking to do it for a long term, if you're looking to keep one event and no other event after, don't worry about security that much. You understand? But if you're looking to do this as, as, as something that you're looking for as a business or whatever, security is important. And a lot of the time when these problems happen in events where people don't want to pay or such, because it's not the security t um, collecting the money. There's always somebody, but if they feel like said the security is somebody I can talk to, or I can go around, or I can push, or I see that security at this event, last event, the events before, a lot of time the familiarity is what caused the problem. So you put somebody strange, or, or and I shouldn't say strange, somebody that they're not familiar with, at you, at you get collecting the money and the security near the security that is near them as well, because the person collecting the money must have security near them you're gonna get a different ball game in terms of how people deal with it. When it is 
from from early you see the smiles with the security and everything and certain people start talking and the whispering going on because they know the security and they know the person at the door that's where you get as you said the good behaving people then become the opportunists as well and you have that problem but a lot of it come down to security all right Brits. yeah the same question goes to you why can't your own friends be the first person to support you and buy a ticket or pay at the door when they turn up for the event because sometimes people don't buy a ticket because they're not sure what they're doing so they wait until last minute because you have the last minute people so they will come and pay the extra at the door to come in so why when they come at the door they are the first one to push your door down as they came in which is the ego it's more ego because they know the promoter they quit for one and um things said they quit for one more Freeze. Even if it's quicker entry or whatever, can be that. But even before, a well known promoter, she followed up. First thing she said, Long time out here. And because she said that, the people, the normal people, as I said, start to the same thing. All of a sudden, the door get rushed. Mm -hmm. Because for the industry itself, as a promoter, you never see somebody do it ever. And even for free or not, even if it's um, safe, yes, you pay for the person who followed because. I like that something because when, when you stop that bill up, the bill up and next time I'm sitting at the, back, at the back of the line. So it's long. But as I say, going back to the point, it's ego. Some people don't want to pay card, no ropes. And then the other side, I said, what value do you feel up here? What you do for me? Back to the support. Mm -hmm. What you do for me if you're not here? Because mm -hmm. the pay issue is what you do for me to not to pay. Why is the ego so great? You say, yo, what? 40 people fought, I mean, them fought. Okay. Okay, let's break for a second. Hey guys, welcome back to Ropes' podcast. You're here with your girl, Caden Paris, also known as Virtuous Gold Getter. Stay true, stay last, and remember, generational wealth. Welcome back, welcome back. And we're talking dance art, and some of the issue what we face, and we hope when we start this new dance art season, when the place opens up, we don't have the same issue. And we hope everybody can look into their self and see dance art as a business. Mm -hmm. So, Brad, as you were saying before, and I want you to continue on the point where you were saying. Um, but this, the door and the support of the ego? Yes. Yeah, um, because as I said, people always are saying they deserve a ticket for it. Like, giving away a ticket is not an issue, but me, with me personally, for record, them say me mean because I would not give away more ticket than less. If you give a ticket, it means that you have four person up here. So you have to give for receive. We have some man as we say, are female. We give a 90% of them ticket price, three, and then you can't pay epic high ropes. And no, because like, they expect to make it back at the bar. Yeah, but that, the, the masters are working at like, you know why? Because there's certain drink at a certain price. And if they and if the dearer drink them sell, the more you pay consignment. But the cheaper one them sell, they pay less consignment. And then if, if you do the maths, 400 people times 10, that's two shots. That's four grand that I made though. But how much people, how much money I get the consignment? How much you lose off of the door? Because it's four grand you lose off of the door again. So really I swap the door price, actually eight grand because I turn point that charge. Mm -hmm. You swap the door price with the bar, but make less. But the night done, the ropes and also we can't get this epic array. But two, we all in business, we take it, but you're not in a right. What of the man? Somebody? In a right. So going forward with me the likes, eh? we do the payment properly. All of it, including myself. And what we call an event a name. We stick to the name. We don't call it a name, and then when the person turns up, it's not what it is. In a real look good because by doing that, it kind of watered on somebody this way, the exact thing, the right way, and then they say, oh, we're not going to support because you do something called water party, and you thought there's no water there. Yeah. When me do it now with water, people are coming with normal clothes because them things say, I finish my talk. So that kind of blights it, the whole okay. thing going forward. So we're just using the name, but we're not. Yes. We're not coming with the no. reality of it. No. Yeah. Okay. And reality Dana. dance, I see. Dana. Yes, Mr. Plug, Rose. Plug. <laughs> why, do, why do promoters have to give away so many tickets for people to come to their party? I can, is, as, as well as, is, is, as you said before, is you expect to make some money on the bar. And sometimes is giving, you think that if I give this person, because I, I do that ropes, giving the ticket and, and I'm expecting I'm, I'm expecting you to turn up to the party because I'm giving you a free ticket. If you're not paying for a ticket, why, why you wouldn't turn up? So but then I, when I look, you don't turn up. One second. 
this time when you will be giving people a ticket and not a ticket and they will tell us say they want 10 tickets yes ropes 10 and then you know what happened one there was one one but do in, the maths on the 10 ticket that's 200 pounds yes how much for a bottle of rum 100 pounds so it's cheaper and then he, he may be coming by one bottle of rum for the 10 of them so yeah. it isn't better yeah, yeah, it's yeah, better they, if they did pay the, the, the pay for the 10 ticket and buy some shots and buy some shots yeah have, listen we are promoters I go to people even sometimes I don't get a ticket and I wouldn't go there and say oh, I'm not going in because they didn't give me a ticket I buy my ticket at the door that's me if I'm gonna buy a ticket at the door because I didn't get a ticket but I can still go in and buy two lucas aid and whatever that's me supporting you but some people oh you didn't give me a ticket so I didn't turn up to your event or I, I don't understand these people mm -hmm. some of them come to the event ropes and if you didn't give them a ticket to come in or you didn't get to go out there and say come in all right come in and then when you come in you speak to me and i can take 10 pound off your off your, your bill for your liquor but no i'm not coming in at all because you didn't give me any ticket me i'm a bridging so i'm not coming in your party what kind of rubbish is that that's not supporting me to support so what, what so that's what i said is 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 something uh, that's as i said support for support is sometimes it's not all the time so, I'm, I'm not. Ag I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not ag agreeing. I'm, I'm. I'm agreeing to disagree. You understand? Because it's not every time uh, because people. Why will you turn disagree? Up. Is it because you're guilty of it, or you're guilty of giving away tickets? I'm and guilty of giving away the tickets for real robes. I, I give away the tickets. Not only giving away the tickets. I even go down. My. 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 my all right, you give them the tickets and they still come and ball on the price on the bar. What can you, how oh, they expect yes, you to, to survive? How oh, these people expect you to survive? It's that, that's I out of foolishness. So, so basically, they don't take this for a business then. They think it's, it's just a hustling. It, Jones, what do you say? Well, anybody that deal with it like that, in that sense, with them type of expectance, is definitely taking what you're doing for a hustle and not a business and i say that to say this if somebody is not willing to even contribute towards the ticket price and they know that you have people or a bill to cover at the end of the night you have the venue to pay for you have your djs and whoever is taking photos or videoing or capturing the event also your security to pay then that person is not a, and you're saying friends you know or people you know that person cannot be a friend if they know that you have those overheads and they know that by not paying and them their, their nine friends not paying and then bargaining and trying to negotiate your, 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 your drinks price and all of that is hurting the whole thing and then you're gonna jump up and say the dj is your friend too and and, and the video person is your friend and you're gonna shake hands with the security and everything then you need they, they need to show the support sometimes i used to be hard on uh, I, I used to be kind of difficult when it comes to like me and re certain promoters reasoning because i used to say maybe you need to give people an incentive to pay but then people were creative they came up with raffles <laughs> they give away flight tickets and people still don't want to pay and you want your tickets to still go in the raffle yeah. that that you get for free so i i don't even know sometimes it, it it has to come down to respect i think something like this that you create now a platform that people can talk sometimes i think promoters need to I, and you mentioned it at the beginning that um you know sometimes somebody needs to understand what you're doing it for maybe 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 promoters and djs and whatever need to talk to the people and why in a part of the promoting of the event say yo this event i have a camera that i need to buy or uh, this event i am looking to do this and i would really love everybody's support maybe maybe they need to hear the stories of why you're actually doing the event and we need to be a bit more transparent okay okay angel um my my understanding with everybody if everyone if everyone say that they love dancehall is dancehall a business or a hustle it's a business um and but it's a bad business it's a business but it's a bad business bad because business. of the way that the business has been run mm -hmm. so i'm just gonna say first of all my son if i'm having an event he will walk in and pay for everybody he's come with. And I'll only know he's in the building when somebody says, oh, your son's sitting over there in VIP, by the way. He's bought everybody drinks. He's been here for like 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. It, I'm not gonna hear that he was at the door saying, "That's my. this is my mom's dance. He's not gonna say that. He's gonna come in with his manners 
pay at the door. If his people can't pay, he'll pay for everyone. I've, I'm at, he's at that age now where I can take him out to m my people's events. So if I bring him to your event, I can honestly tell you my son's going to pay for all of our tickets, including mine, or pay at the door for me and his. And at the bar, he'll pay for everybody's it's drinks. Because you're training him like that? Because I've raised him understanding what business is. I mean, I, I've got my degree in business, but that's got nothing to do with it. It's principle. Mm -hmm. And I also believe for this to work and change, there's something going wrong. And the beginning is what we've all said, security. Just scrap out certain security who you have actually worked with before and take on, uh, I, I don't want to say one particular kind, but let's just say, for example, Eastern Europeans. They're very good at the door. Let's just say African people working at the door for West Indian events, they're very good at the door. And the reason why they're good at the door is because there's no straight relation. Anything that hasn't got a straight relation works better because there's no, no, no but, uh, way of but, making but, you but, feel but, bad. One second. Mm -hmm. I see West Indian security, and they really try to do their job professionally. Yes. But you know something? You see, when you, when that same person have to go to the market, mm -hmm. so we in, we in Deckford now, when they have to go to Deckford market and they're going to see the same man what, what he bad up at the door and, and mm -hmm. didn't try to get in, that same man really have, the, have kind of feeling with him and want to bust his face down the market. Mm -hmm. So it's very difficult for him. But I've noticed there's less negotiation at the door when it's somebody who's not one of your own. Your chest isn't so high and so, you know, you're not pounding your chest like a, you know, you've got authority to actually have the rights to create the rights that you need to come in right now because it's my friend's event. You can't tell me not to come through because there's none of that. I'm, I'm sure we've noticed there's less negative interaction when there is somebody who's less likely to listen to your rubbish, yeah? Because people only do what they can knowing who they can do it to. So this whole thing of feeling entitled comes from, you said, really, brother? You're one of us. You want to try and cower somebody down by using psychology. Make them feel less of a person by saying, you're one of us. Just like when a police officer uh, approaches you and you see he's black, so you're a sellout, yeah? Is that how you're going on? Is that how you're going to deal with man? That's the first thing they want to use. But he's doing his job and he hasn't violated you. But you want to now pull that card. It's a card. You just pull the card as you come out. Here's my privilege. I'm the friend or I'm the cousin. I hear you. I hear you. Mm. OK, right back. You're into another promoter event as a supporter. And you see people you know, maybe not really close to them. And you see things going to kick off. What do you do to stop it as a promoter? No, try to stop them. Try to take with the person that's more volatile and say, oh, but if it stop, it stop. But the end, you definitely can't stop it outside. But at the same time, you still are trying to say, yo, remember say so and so. Because as a promoter, I expect someone to do the same thing with me. Like, my guy dances enough for the promoter, I smoke. I'm like that, seriously. Mm. And it's like, you are the one that will come back here again. And yeah, of course, everybody say, you know, it's first smoke. But people feel very like this. Because, let them monkey see monkey do, in a sense way. If you are the promoter of an, of an organization, a part of a team, and then you are smart the next person event, mm -hmm. it lead the fans them and the people to the same thing. Because I must say, if you don't respect your fellow co-worker, mm -hmm. why should we? And the always come with your friends at the door, is after that promoter or a DJ, most of the time, or a person where say them so-called hype and whatever. And it's like, really and truly, you want to spend five hundred the bar and can't pay some pump at the door. And people do talk about that. But they're not going to say them because and again, they have an but they want to run with. Mm -hmm. You understand? So it's more of like, really silly, security wise, you knock your wood upon the door, if the person decides to fall the night, then don't want to pay. It's even worse when you can't understand. I don't want to violate him more. It's easier when you find a familiar face as, as security, as me being a security, to talk, find an equal ground. If not, no work, then it's why for them. Because if you should leave the house and say, the father, somebody dance, and then the rest of somebody, you know. Mm -hmm. Firstly, you should have called the ropes, link me today, link me yesterday, because I'm going to take you there if I a free ticket. So I'm going to reach, my land, let's go ahead and go. Why should I give you a free ticket? No, 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 I'm saying if that's an issue, you should have contacted me from before and say, oh, 
Red Eye Railway. But if I give you a free ticket, as a Daniel said, I get on the whim, most probably to give it on the whim to say, I get roasted, I should buy a drinks, so it's an equal load. But if I get a free ticket, I get a card because I want to. I don't give look back for your strength. Yeah, but wait. Do you think giving away a free ticket is messing up dance? Mm -hmm. Not necessarily because, as I'm going to say again, nothing in this life is 100%. Even when we work, there's no comps. But they have to limit the comps. That's the problem. Out of 100, at least 10% should be comps. The 90 should be paid. When you flip it around, every free person coming, in, they don't respect nothing because when they pay, they some money. Well, is the 90 not paying? But not every promoter does that. Some promoter don't. That's not the point of the way. Okay. Can you promote your free ticket? All right, you're giving away, you're walking around and you give Angel, you give Jones, and you give Dana because you think Dana's gonna come and buy a drink. But you didn't give me. But I have a set of birthday people coming in which gonna shell your bar more than anybody else, more than the people who you expect to shell your bar. Because as I said, the people who are shellers, they don't shell who they want to shell. Mm -hmm. They're not necessarily they're gonna come in that because you give them a ticket. That means uh, you're trying to pull them out by giving them something, mm -hmm. but that's not necessarily they're, they're gonna come shell your bar. Mm -hmm. They might not. They might come and they, okay. this party is not hype enough mm -hmm. for them to. Is, if they shell the bar, is is not gonna benefit them right now because you're not coming back to shell their bar. Do you think the whole thing makes sense giving away a ticket? Because I think giving away a ticket mm -hmm. is messing up dance. All right, it it makes sense to a level. I'm gonna say limit where I give it. My birthday party, them, me always have everything so I mind. And as I said, regular people out, I'm a know them every year. As a promoter, know your crowd. If you are a seasoned promoter, you're gonna know who exactly to bring. As I said, you are gonna bring people where I come, shell, you say ropes, say some ticket for me, say two tickets, you and over for me. Because I know that in place we tell other person. When we do even see some promoters, they don't know the birthday ticket free. I'm like, if you have a birthday person and free ticket, they have a father somebody. Mm -hmm. So if you have to just know, it comes down to knowing the crowd and some promoter have to know the level okay. after the promotion. One second. Angel, mm -hmm. you've been to almost every party. Mm -hmm. How much time a promoter ever give you a free ticket? Uh, twice in 26 years. <laughs> I really don't care for a free ticket, to be honest. But my support is landing. And it usually costs me more to get there because I'm coming from far, I live far, them times especially. So. I'm not round the corner, two and a half hours drive sometimes coming from work, then coming to your event. I'm not even going to say a word. How much is it? And I pay, and I go in stress-free, happy. I'm ready to, to go. All right, Jones, women make up 50% of the dance, right? Do, do they do mamas? More. 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 Uh, more. Yeah, more. more. All right, 75%. <laughs> women make up 75% of the dance. Yeah, yeah. They're, they are the most expensive screecher come to the dance. Mm -hmm. They have to do their nails, here. Mm -hmm. When man will repeat their clothes, women don't repeat their clothes to a dance. Mm -hmm. Every, the, 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 mm -hmm. the average for that night, say average, 250. Mm -hmm. That's just average. It's more to, to the people who want to buy a design. And yeah, yeah. Things about. The average woman got to spend to come to your dance is 250. Mm -hmm. Right? And they come, with their, they come there, buy their drink. They're not going to the bar. And, and, uh, this podcast is brought to you by Video Rose Production Limited. Whether you got an event, a birthday, a wedding, a christening, well, that, even that music be a video, question for we will capture it all for that you. Don't, show them the respect, don't waste time. When it comes Give to Vida the Rose females, I don't think anybody is out there will say that you know Epic or anybody associated with Epic don't show them a lot of respect. I mean, whether it's from a DJ point of view or even a promoter's point of view in terms of the events I, I've done. I mean, when women were getting lack of respect, Reds you know, I, I, I asked the question, I like to interact with the people and I said, what is it that you want? They said more girl songs. And I went and did an event, I went all out in the promotion with an event that every DJ, when I initially con contacted them, said cannot work, strictly girl songs. So, and that was my way of saying, you guys have spoken, I see the effort you make in terms of your hair, your clothes, your paying, your spending, and they said they weren't getting value. It's like the last 10% of the event in terms of the time is when some girl song play. And one girl broke it down to me in, in, in a way where she said, look on it like, se like, like sexual intercourse. Yeah, she said, look on it that way. When 
you playing playing Batman song, money pull up song, play the three DJs come and play like three four songs that play in each other set, and you you show all them songs so much love, and then in the last thirty minutes you expect a girl to just you know oh yeah girl song come on and they, they're supposed to be ready. Look on it. You need to do the four play same way. So you need to warm up the girl them four play all of the other things and we make them in the mood and then when you're ready to get to the main intercourse and everything she ready and that's what them said d with your party and your event like that and when she said it like that that's when i started to look whoa there really is a big issue in dance hall and i think the issue is a lack of respect for the women them i don't think a lot of people respect the effort that a woman makes to come to an event okay dana being a promoter a woman promoter and I know it's one of the hardest things for women. Like I, I ask after every woman who, who try to be do promotion in, in a man's world because they think it's a man's world. Do you think as a promoter, and a woman promoter, and a woman supporter, do you think that women get enough respect? No, we don't get the respect, and I think that the 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 male counterpart, our, our male counterpart, should show us more respect because we're in the events with with you we go we go if if we're if we're promoting we're, we're everywhere promoting just like how you are promoting but then when is the time for our event you decide oh my virgin over there says keeping a dance i, I wanted to come to your thing you know it's, it's not it's not a thing that i was made I, I was meditating that but but then it just happened sorry that's not nice and you don't feel good about that robes okay, i'm gonna ask you one more question who don't give the promote? Who don't give the support? The male supporters are the fellow women <coughs> supporters. S sometimes it's a woman too. It's both. I wouldn't say it's, it's a male on, a, on their own. Women, some women as well. They decide, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to that girl party. Or I don't. Who is that person? All of a sudden, some of them don't even know your ropes. Oh, it was you. I didn't even know it was you. I, I never knew that. That's that's the name you go by. I did. That's that's not nice. That's not nice. Some people, sometimes ropes, as 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 I can say. Sometimes people go to party for different reasons. Some people go to party, as I said, to, to all our meds, but it's not really meditation. Some people go to recuperate. I'm a person that goes to a party to rec. I've, I've been you know, in my workplace for the whole week, and I feel like I want to go to, to, to restart with my, with my fellow people. Like So if everybody goes somewhere with their people, I want to be with mine. And sometimes you go there, if, if, if I have to pay, I will pay. If I do not have to pay, if you said, all right, here's a ticket, that's fine. I'm not going to jeopardize your party because or, or your event because you didn't give me a ticket. As long as I can make it, I will be there. So we, we just need to show respect. It's more respect. Sometimes I think it's, it's bullying with the men and the women. You try to bully a woman because it's a woman. Uh, sometimes I think it's, it's a bit of bad minds him too because you just think that this person event was big last year I'm not gonna go I'm gonna go to this one or you think this person this is a thing where this person might have two party you're thinking why should I support this person that is having two or three party I'm not gonna support that person if you can go go you understand just just is 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 as as I say it's not just for hustling it's from it's for money making as well all right, Brace. Dance all have a lot of problems. Lots of violence. It's one of the nicest things when it's good. Mm -hmm. Right. What is your solution to dance all problem right now as a promoter? What would you like to see? Um, firstly, everybody buy a ticket. That's the first thing. As we said before, if you pay for something, what about that? if you pay for something, you have to approach the situation different. Secondly, just abide by the rule, as they say. Um, you forward, hold the line, go in, even for free or not, once a year, approach it like a day I was Same concept. Don't forward like you are demoted, because you reach, first them reach with the mentality or around the corner even. So them call with the mentality like anything goes. So fix that, you have to fix your mindset first. And the problem need to start boot certain people up as well. Okay. I got a problem when people come to certain events and they say this is man's ends uh, this is my ends this is my ends 
this is man's ends, mm -hmm. right? This is their ends. But when you look at when you look down the line, you see pure Indian shops with business. So if it was your ends, you would have a business on this ends. So why if somebody has come on your ends to keep a party? What that give you the privilege for you to mash it up? No, you don't. But that's all it is right now. The mentality. Yeah, I just say mentality. But at the same time, as a business person. This is why I said the business is bad and it's a hustle. Every business is a hustle. Even if it's a franchise, it's a hustle. I have to hustle to make money regardless. Because business. If you know, say, you would have went somewhere and you would tell me, say, you know, say, so and so is forward and you know the person, say, yo, brother, now I don't even find the place now I go on. Yeah, so this is the way free to make sense. Because you cut down the, the rush door part of it, you kind of say, okay, make a follow you. I've done before. You keep them in certain places. Well, um, what about when you give people free ticket and they give it away and still turn up and they set the game? No, it's, then that's that's not right. Obviously, yeah, you can't stop that. What, one, one second. You can't stop it because even with you actually your best to make it up. You actually have to protect the patron and will actually come to party. Cause you, you only can do so much. You not keep even for somebody to get shot or stab. No one does that. You actually your best to eliminate that party. That's your security guard more than if you have anyway. As I was saying before, one security guard cover only the people. Okay, they, they try to beat. Okay, what's the solution? Me, they say, you can't have more security guard. Kind of make sense. The whole solution is when somebody match with that, say no, oh, the police don't say them. Okay, Angel, what's the solution? Um, people need to learn to build personal bridges. I was going to elaborate on what Don Don was saying. I personally didn't know her as a promoter or anything because I don't get too into the politics of dance or even though I've been around all this time. So I have a problem with women promoters. My problem is I've seen how women promoters fail to um, grab another part of the audience. So a lot of them want to hang around with the man them because they want the man them money. A lot of them want to be more associated with the guys who are on the street because it helps them with the credibility to build themselves as women promoters. When it comes to people like myself, I don't care whose dances what. I'll go to Dundons, I'll go to Tasha's, I'll go to Candy's, I'll go to each one of them, I'll doorstep every one of them. I don't care who's who. But my problem is, those same lady promoters don't show us ladies love. They don't communicate with us. They don't interact with us. So you'll see me at all your dances, but you still fail just to even have the common courtesy to say, oh, hi, thanks for coming. Does it hurt? Just greet me as well, because I'm here. You know, you've seen me at every single one. Second. So, so what they do, before they party, they say hello, ah, you good to like the hypocrites, right? And then after your party, they just party to like, you're nobody. Thank you, because they've seen me at every single dance. If I've been around 26 years, I've been around longer than you. And you started to do promotion and started to do your thing in a different way and light, because that's what you wanted to do. Now, I'm supporting. I, I paid, I came. You said sportswear with swimwear. I'm actually wearing a swimming costume and I'm in my trainers. So I've come as you, you've, you've asked. But you don't even have the courtesy to exercise your mannerism, your body language even, your, how can I put it? They even, and this is not specifically who I've mentioned, but just saying the problem with most lady uh, promoters is that their chest is too high. It's up here. So it's like, I'm too nice for you. You know, they're more, more or less like floating around the room, but bypassing the people who have supported them, who they don't want to even acknowledge. It's not that you don't acknowledge them. You don't want to. You've seen me at your dance 10 times. You know my face. You've seen me on Instagram. You've seen me on Facebook, but you purposely ignore me and act like you don't know me. But, but you, you, you know, know that's, that's another. That's, that's the biggest, biggest problem for a lot of a lot of dance when it comes to the women. Okay, okay, Jones. What's the solution? Being a person, you're all a masters in in, in promotion, not promotion. What, what what's the subject? What you're doing? Well, the masters is in business admin. Yeah. Business admin. Mm -hmm. So, what's the approach to the new dance season? Well, 
the first thing I think we need to address and we need to make sure that we get that right is the behavior in dance hall. So we need to um, address violence within dance hall. Uh, and I think after we address that, we can address the other elements that need to improve in terms of the entertainment, in terms of the other things. But the violence, first and foremost, when we address the violence, then we can start looking to say, hey, look, this is our track record. The last in events over the last six months, you know, the six months since since we've been allowed to keep events again and the place has reopened, we'd have this few incidents. We need better. We, we need a better deal when it comes to getting venues. Why are we not able to acquire these? Then you can start having the arguments about getting better venues. Then you can start having the conversations regarding better entertainment. Then you can address the other things. But the violence has to be addressed. If it, that, that that is the solution. So accountability. Jones, you think that every promoter, what working in the space, should form an alliance? Yes. And communicate with each other. Work with each other. Yes, definitely. Because we are operating in the same business. It is our business. It's not Rope's business alone or our breadback business. It's not Dana business alone or Angela business. It is our business, all of us, the whole community. So, so how, how do we go about having a promoters meeting where we are at the same level? Well, first and foremost, then, I, I think the personnel that are respected within, are, are, I wouldn't like to use the term most popular, but the person that commands the most respect or enough respect should, should step forward and organize such meetings. And you should address it in, in the sense that you make it known, give people enough time, let them know what you're trying to do and why you're trying to do it. And then what needs to be done, because sometimes harsh decisions need to be taken. If there's certain personnel that are not going to agree or they're not going to be on board and they're going to ignore those efforts, then consequences need to be done. And I mean, it, it might mean that they get a shut out from, from the rest of the industry. It's not that you're going to carry the name and shut them out. But if they start crying down on certain things that, oh, you know, this happened at my event and nobody knows show me, us, then they need to be called out that there was an opportunity for us to come and sort this out and you turned, you declined it. So accountability has to be done and I think somebody that is respected needs to come forward as a promoter and then get all promoters together and have some form of meeting. I mean, not just meetings, I think promoters should also have socials too. Should have a day when pro all promoters can link up and just have a drink, play Ludi, play Domino. So some of that needs to be done. Okay, M maybe most, pro do you think every promoter that keep that state themselves serious as a promoter? Personally, I think a lot of, even though it is dance hall business, a lot of people it is a hustle. And it's a hustle to, to make ends meet or a hustle to get this done or a hustle just for the hype of doing things. Not everybody might love music like how I love music and that's okay. But then also if I also on the outside just being an observer because there's a lot of people that used to have certain roles used to just be a dancer they used to just attend events and, and spend and now they're a promoter they see a certain way of people doing things and think oh i can do that too and it's bad habits to pick up they pick up habits from a promoter that wasn't doing things right or people within the industry that wasn't doing things right and they continue it and sometimes it get even worse because the person that was doing it probably had certain people in their circle to help them and then you start doing something that you know you haven't got enough experience or whatever and you make it even worse sometimes because you don't have the experience you don't have the team around you neither and you've taken it on as a hustle so a lot of people to me take on dance all as just a hustle it's not a business to them okay so it's the hustle mentality what we need to shut out yes definitely okay all right Dana, this is your final say um what do you think yeah i want to touch on that topic because um, for the past year and a half, I've been saying that we need a, a dance hall manager. We, you know, like the football league or the foot, they have a manager. We need a manager. We need someone, so as as he rightly said, someone so that we can. Some yes, but we need someone that we can go to because, for instance, we wouldn't be having these clashes with the dates. It, no, that's the first. No, but I mean, like. 
Hey guys, welcome back to Ropes' podcast. You're here with your girl, Caden Paris, also known as Virtuous Gold Getter. Stay true, stay last, and remember, generational wealth. And One second, I see dance hipper south, dance hipper east, dance hipper west, and they all work out well. Yes, so that's, that's, that's I don't see no problem with people he, on the same date. Yeah, that's the thing because if we have five five events, you have events in north, events in south, that's okay. But when you're having three or that's four events in, in, in south, and they all work out. yeah, because, because it's different, of, what, different what, crowds, what, everyone of their different crowd. But if you're if you're trying to get the same crowd, what Joe get in and what him get in, then that's where you have the problem, yeah, because it, it's different people. So you come back down to your promotion skills, yes. Mm -hmm. As, as as you rightly said, but still we still need a manager ropes. We need someone that we can. Fr when I started, when I when I said I was gonna leave out from life. my from my from my house, I'm leaving out from my house and I'm going on going out in the industry. Then ropes. I didn't just jump onto it. I call I call someone that I know is is in there. No one understand and said, so, can, can I do can this? <laughs> and I and, and I said to him, um, I'm. I want to keep my party. Can I do this? And he said, Oh, I'm not gonna really tell you who and who to use, you know, because he's a serious man. But you can do this. You can do that. Go around this way. Don't take. Don't take. Don't put in ten different DJs or ten because you, you you're trying to make your money in it. So that's that's. You need someone who can advise and give you good advice. Okay, let me get bread back in. Okay, bread back. Now we got um, three minutes left. Mm. Okay. As we ask for the solution, do you do you think that dancers need a manager? Promoters need a manager to manage them? No, not really, because it's more of a self-employment thing. Um, promoters. Not because you're self-employed, no, they can't. Let me explain. Okay. Promoters do talk, like sir DJ do talk. But you see, this is this unity part, right? Mm. We we'll work up to a point. As I said, the date of clashing. We have some person who assumes that this date a free one. Say, so, yes, okay, your date and approach date clash. Will share not the same crowd, same interesting people. You shift yours to say a Friday, say that was Saturday. No, more on the Saturday, way different. And that's the problem. I have got it's in a sort. You can't have five or six solid promoter away. Season of the team have the same night. Nobody not going to have the look of bickering and the cut show situation. My dad's free then. I want somebody for it. You can manage yourself, but communicate. Because if you have a manager and coach, you still have If you communicate more, you find the unit push together more. Because, as I said before, there's different levels of in the industry. There's the okay. starter, middle, and end. So the end part, right? you know what they do. The middle people them, do talk and say, oh, this is our day. And the people just start, they know what to go around everybody else. Mm -hmm. So that's just communication. Okay. You call them and they say, oh, you keep a dance, and say, oh, yeah, I'm do my the Friday then. Kai, you know, you don't want clash because you don't want people when no two one, I think for the two places. Okay, all right. Well, let me tell you something. Well, I think that if dance out organize themselves and have a manager, have somebody who manage the business or manage so everybody is under this one umbrella, each me for you, you for me. It would first you would have cut them on the violence mm -hmm. because you would come to my dance with the same interest as this year dance. That's true. Right. Next thing. When it comes to do with the police, everybody will stand up for each other. Right? You understand? And because if I have my license, my liquor license, and my promotion license, why should I use my, my liquor license and my promotion license to keep your party? Well, if I was, if we were a team, as we, 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 we after the same thing, I could, go, I could go to the council and get the venue for you mm -hmm. without a problem because I know that you have my back, you, I have your back. And I said, Agent, what do you think? You think dance are need a dance are I've, promoter? I've been saying this for years. I've been saying it needs an agency, just like how the council is run. Different departments, one head, one board. It works. If it works for the council in the different boroughs, it works. That's one thing I'm going to get out there. Is that, is that because of tax? No, but just in general, for communication purposes, for things to work out with that whole thing of, and, and I'm just going to say what fuels the, the fire in dancehall when it comes to the trouble that comes is what's happening outside. So we've had, just to say, the social impact has the impact in that actual club scene, party scene, dancehall scene. It's, come, it's, it's leakage 
from the outside. So in the week, we're having a matey and wifey and this is our man situation. She comes to the dance now and this is her man that I've been taking on the side. Let her come to the dance on Friday, see if we're not gonna fight at that dance. It's just situations that are created. It's just a sprinkle. Somebody puts the, the, the was it? the spirit and somebody likes it. And I think the problem is the people who bring themselves into the scene have got their own issues that they bring to the scene. This doesn't happen at other scenes. The same people go to central London and they act proper and they dress properly and they behave because they're not given the fuel to the fire. It's not exciting if it's not at a dance hall scene. Okay, okay uh, thank you everyone. I respect everybody's view and it's your personal view and it's how you see it, okay? I just want to say thank you again for coming to spend this time to talk about Dance Hall. We're going to do a series because Dance Hall is, is going to start up very soon. Mm -hmm. And we want, we want to try and see if we can work out the problems that we are facing in Dance Hall. And that's the reason for this podcast. So we're going to continue this podcast. So I might bring back a couple of you, invite whoever available to come back next week and we'll continue the conversation. You understand because I think that I personally think that dance hall is a problem. I mean, I, I create business out of dance hall. I create this podcast out of dance hall. I create a movie out of dance hall. I build my life out of dance hall. So it worked for me. Not always. So if I can give back something to dance hall, and I think I'm doing it now. So let's work together. As I say, when you look in the mirror, you have to start with the person in the mirror. You understand? And then you have to reach out to other people. You have to show them love. You have to show them, Jones, you, you have a business ad administration manager or you have a master's. Mm -hmm. Let it work for you, bro. You understand? Make it work for you. You can talk, you can liaise with, with, with promoters and show them things. I know you've been doing it over, over the years. Yep, yep. You understand? But I think this COVID come here and it, it, it changed people's mindset. You understand? Because we're going back out there now uh, with clean slate. And we want to start it on a professional level. Mm -hmm. And the word we want to use, professional. I want every promoter to be professional. Mm -hmm. Think business. Mm -hmm. Think professional. So if we can go out there on a professional level, then everybody sh should be safe and can be safe. You understand? Because I want you to know that dance art is everybody's second cousin. Every nation love dance hall. You understand? Different nation make crazy money out of dance hall, but we are fighting for crumbs. Mm -hmm. You understand? The big cake is there, and we all like a bees in itching up on one slice of the cake. You understand? We just need to spread the love and show each other love. So, guys, again, thank you for coming.